just got another tip for you with regards to using Compass software on uh, your iPad or on a Toby Dynavox device. Uh, you may want to set a password so that the user can't necessarily get into the menu button uh, and make modifications. So if that's the case, the best way to do that is to go into your menu button, choose settings, and then go into the button called interface. And here you'll see a heading called settings and editing password, and it's blank, but once you put something in there, that is what the password will be set as. Um, so let's type in something that we might want it to be. Very simple, maybe don't do that, but anyway, and we'll click on done and go back to our page. And now if I do try to click on my menu button and try to modify something, it's going to ask me to enter a password. So I need to pop those numbers in and click OK to do anything in my um, modifying or going into settings. Now, if you do need to remove that password, or if you don't want a password anymore, the best way to do that is basically just go in, back into your settings, into, I'm asking for the password again, into interface. And all you need to do is just blank it out. So make it um, empty and then you won't be needing your password anymore. Um, the other thing that I just want to let you know that there is an overriding password. So if you ever do find that you don't remember what password you set and you can't get back in or maybe someone at another organisation or through the school has changed it and you can't get in, then there is a password you can type in to override. So just contact us at Link Assistive, um, the phone number 0871206002 in Australia, or you could email us and we can certainly let you know what that override password is. So yeah, that's how you can set a password. Thanks.